the pole Dorset and Dorset Horn May Sheep Fair takes place each year down in, in Exeter and I have to say I really do look forward to, to this event. We have some wonderful sheep on the farm this year um, and I'm very very pleased with the lambs that have come through. This is always very nice when we arrive all the commercial guys um, with their large lorries are uh, backing their vehicles up. There's always a lot of people to give a hand and to guide all the sheep in their correct pens. All the pens are numbered up and uh, Mark does a fantastic job and I, and I think a lot of people do forget about how much uh, work Mark does put into these shows. She makes sure that all the entries are in correctly and everybody are allocated numbers in plenty of time so when they arrive everybody knows where the sheep are going to go. Now, th th this is an interesting fact, within our commercial sector I know there's well over 2,000 sheep here today and it's going to be interesting to see what um, sort of prices to, uh, are going to be achieved. There you are there, there's a good pen of five again. There you are. There we are, they're not eligible for the export, they will be in there, they're just coming there, one seventy, one seventy, one seventy there, 50 mid, thank you, I want 50, I want 50, I want 50, I want 50, lovely long years, aren't they, 5, 155, 155, 60, 160, 165, 65, 70, I want 70, I want 70, I want 70, I want 70 at the back, 5, 175, 180, 180, 180, 180, take a 2 now, I want 180, I want 180, I want 180, I want 180, 182, 182, 182, and yes, 182, Well, here the auctioneers are now well underway, and uh, goodness me, one or two of the pens have already gone through, and uh, they 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 are making some some rather good uh, some rather good money at the moment. December, it produced 51 lambs, no loss, use all lambs. We had one. All right. I can't say any more than that. There you are. This is the whole year's crop for um, Mr. Franks. There you are there. And quite rightly, he's got the first prize in the ewes. There you are there. Nice lot of young ewes there. Put me in there. Then he's got me there. 180s away. 180s. 180s. 150 bits. I want 50. I want 55. I want 55. I want 55. I want 55. Working girls. I want 55. 60. I want 60. 5. 70. 5. 75, Two, five, eight, fifty-eight, sixty, one sixty-two, one sixty-two, five, one six 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 five,
Oh, Rob Dallin's just having a quick chat with uh, David. Obviously, one's called his eye in the pen, and they're just through, running through the uh, the data in the in the in the catalogue. Here we are with a with a lane, and they're just putting the final touches. They're just putting their uh, identification numbers on them for the for the show ring. And I have to say, a fine looking ram. Beautiful set of horns on him. I'm sure he'll make some uh, some interesting money. Beautiful animal. This is a fine selection of shearling ewes, and uh, George Robson is the uh, judge. Now he's come over from Ireland. Uh, he really does know his uh, sheep and a fine selection we have here this morning as well. Judges just had a quick look at uh, the animal that Louise Morehouse is uh, holding there, nice nice horned ewe, and then judge just moved on to uh, to Robert Hull, a fine animal there. I have to say they're all a really, really nice looking animals today. One eight four. Mark Heyman, third, Mark 198, Tom Clark. And David Matthews here is judging the champion female. David from Wales. Ruth Jones there on the right with a, with a superb animal. Rob Howe on the left. Judges, judges, has he made his mind up? No, I think the judges now have another look at them. There really isn't a lot to choose from, from these two animals. Oh, got one one that's just got away. Judges just having a, a good look at them as they're walking them around. Judge has made his decision and it's gone to Oh and Robert taking it and Ruth coming second. Judges are deliberating now, David. He's talking to his assistant and I have to say it's quite a difficult job what they have in front of us. A, a really, really good collection of uh, animals here today. Judges just doing one or two final final selection. Oh, we've, got a, we've got a place selection movement here. So the Second place is now being moved down to the fourth position. What a what a change there. Mr. David Roster, second, Sir Jim Duffy, and third. Mark Heyman. Paul Ram Lam sponsored by Waitrose. First place, lot 57 from Richard Curry. Second place, lot 167 from William and Karen Carson. Third place, number six from Caldwell Brothers. 
fourth place, 1-2-2 two, two from Thomas Wright. And fifth place, 1-0-2 from Jim Duffacy. One or, two, one or two interesting comments from the judges that the standard the animals that have been uh, been shown here here this morning have been qu quite exceptional. As you can see, the uh, the rosettes are being issued. Now, the gentleman that um, that is handing out the ro rosettes at the moment is uh, is Duncan Sinclair, agricultural manager to Waitrose, uh, and Duncan and I were were, were talking and. Uh, and I have to say, a fascinating uh, programme that uh, Waitrose are involved with, with the uh, Pole Dorset and um, Horn, Dorset Horn Society. Um, they really do play quite a major role um, as it's Waitrose policies to, to have uh, lamb on the shel shelves of their shops as early as possible. There you see Duncan Sinclair um, issuing the trophy to Francis Fuchs. Um, three fabulous animals there. And again, Duncan with uh, Richard Curry. And a, and, a, and a super animal from, from Richard there. And, and, and as you know, Richard from Northern Ireland. Francis uh, with uh, David Matthews uh, and a fine horn ram. And Duncan St. Clair from Waitrose with Francis Fuchs with a, with a fabulous pole dorset. Now this was interesting that um, Jim DeFosi um, won, the, won the wool competition that was sponsored by Hainsworth uh, and, a, and again a superb animal. I would like to thank all the judges uh, for their sterling effort yesterday. We thank them very, very, very much. And to all our sponsors who have given uh, so generously to, uh, to, to the society and also the stewards for all their help as well. So the guarantee is to still run there. You can see that in the back of your catalogue. Well, it's always very nice when we enter into the show ring. There's always a nice buzz, and uh, and some of the animals are making 12, 13, 14, 1500 guineas, and we've just had one that's just gone through at uh, 2,600 guineas. Oh, this is an interesting start. One's just cleared the ring at 4,600 guineas. His father is a super breeding ram, he says. That's some hundred, some hundred, some hundred, some hundred, some hundred, some hundred. That's some hundred guineas. Take a 20 now and run one of you. That's 700 guineas once. 700 guineas so it's 20, 720, 720, 720, 50, 50, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, 750, Right at the back, 70, 780, 780 going to be. That's 780, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000 going to be. 1,000 going to be. 1,000 going to be. 1,000 going to be. 1,000, 1,000. One, ladies and gentlemen, this is Platonic. It's group one. It's by leader. Group two. Group two. It's our index. It's 317. It's maternal index. is 204. A grand round. A grand round round. There we are then. I'll wait for him then, please. He's got four figures. He's got 1,000 in. 1,000. 800. 800. 700, let's have 500 away then please. 500,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000 guinea bid. Now 1,000 guinea bid, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. 1,000 guineas one, you're losing. Up 1,000 guineas once. 1,000 guineas twice and going then at 1,000 guineas. Second in the class of the pairs, ladies and gentlemen. Second in the class is with the, the first one, lot nine. By drumming legend, ladies and gentlemen, for you again. A group one round for you. A group one round. <laughs> 
Why would that one's just got the crowd going? That's just been hammered down at six thousand guineas. Fabulous price. It's a great pleasure to meet all these gentlemen. Now, they've been involved in the Pole Dorset Society for, uh, well, I, I think looking at them maybe about 30 years, but we'll go into that in a <laughs> Now, come on, chaps. You guys, the elder statesmen, now, you know, how many years' service are, are between all of you? Michael, come on, you start. You're the youngest. Well, I've done 56. 56? Uh, 52 next month. <laughs> 52. <laughs> 45 years. 45. Well, that was with horns and poles. Poles okay. and the horns. Yeah. So, uh, forget yeah. the horns. Don't forget yeah. horns. That, that is quite key. Well, there you go, Joe. I mean, that's, that's got to be somewhere in the region of 100, 160 years worth of combined service. Now, come on, explain about the society. So, well, come on, Mike. You, I mean, mate. Um, yeah. yeah, well, the society, I could explain about the sheep. I mean, with the Dorset horns, they were the only really breed that, that bred out of season. Yes. And then in the late 50s, early 60s, the crossbred pole horn came in. No, you're treading on dangerous <laughs> ground. The pole Go horn on. came in <laughs> late 50s, 60s. Play nicely, boys, play and, nicely. And um, it has improved a great deal since then. There's a lot more improvement needed. Um, the horns have died out, which is a great pity. Yeah, it is. It is a bit of a shame. Richard, come on, now, since, well, since you joined. I first came to the Mayfair in 1966, and the first ram I ever sold was a pole ram. Right. And he was one of the first polled rams ever to be sold at Mayfair. Oh, right. They were virtually all horned. Yes. Yeah, um, the first poll ram came in was Valmer C11. That's right. came from 1963. Came from Tasmania. Came in from Tasmania. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because I have to say, my, my first um, experience of, of the Pole Dorset Society in the Mayfair was when it was ha held out on the open grounds at Dorchester. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. In the market. Yeah. Yeah. In the market. And, right. and I mean, that was a fabulous experience mm. for yeah. me. And I have to say, it's a, it is a great change. But Things move on, and here we are again. Indoor facilities, which are absolutely fantastic, but I have to say, not quite the same sort of feel as when it's out in the field. A bit more back to basics, I would sort of say, really. Yeah. But we've had two other field sites in between when we lost the market in Dorchester. Right. We went to a site in Charminster, yeah. which yeah. wasn't the same. It was a big no, marquee. No. For the Rams, mm. yes. and then we moved on to Holywell, right. where that was a fantastic site. All the Rams were in one building, and the news were all out in the field. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. we lost that site, so we had to come here. Yes, I mean this yeah. is a purpose-built market. Yeah, purpose-built marketplace, isn't it? Mm. Uh, now, David, I, I, you, you're just about to take some of your animals through. Uh, mm. What do you think of the standards of being this year? Good, not a good round this year. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, yeah they're good. some lovely animals. Yeah, well, Michael, very you, good. Michael, you cast your eye over them, and your yeah, thought there's, uh, yeah, we're improving with the poles, but there's still a little way to go yet. Yeah, to get the yeah. standard. There's a lot of very good rounds here, yes. but we've still got a lot of tail enders. Wait, wait, but it's sort of still quite nice that the standards are being set year on, year on. Yeah, yeah, yeah we've got to carry on. You can't stand yeah. still. I think, no, if, if you're honest, cool. Michael, yeah. there's less tail end this year than we've seen for a long yes, time. Yes, that, that's true. Um, yeah, the yeah. number of sheep that you could say probably shouldn't be here are much less than they've been in the past. That's the, well, that, yeah. that's, that, that that's is that's progress. Society. Yeah. That's, 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 that's wonderful progress yeah. for all the, for all the, the sort of the, the, the minor breeders. And I'm sure they won't mind me saying that. But the guys that are looking for you, looking to you lot for it, you know for guidance mm -hmm. and experience, their flocks are now starting starting to come up to to a greater standard, which is only going to be good for the society, isn't it? Well, they know yeah, very well that yeah. unless mm. they are up to standard, they won't sell you. Yes. Yeah. 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 You've only got to go in the sale ring to see, see that. that now the sale ring's quite yeah. amazing. I mean, yeah. there we yeah. have we have bids of six thousand yeah. pounds for an animal. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. fantastic, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And, and we've been out with the commercial guys today uh, in the commercial sector. Yeah. There, I mean, especially some very interesting yeah. prices yeah. there, isn't yeah. it? Very much. Well, yeah. Well, very good. Really. Uh, so, so yeah. where are we going from here, then, chaps? Well, well, I won't what go a... very long. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know about Richard. Don't actually. you believe it? <laughs> now, come on, are you, still, are you all still yeah. active when... within the, in, in the showing things? David, are you still, well, are you still when, doing showing? When Valmer C11 came in, 19, I said early 1963, yes. they won Smithfield and Bunny Lentil won Smithfield four or five times. I think yeah. he won a cup outright. 
Really? Uh, I won three cut, times yeah. with uh, out of dotted views. Did you? So we had a quality, we had a quality of shape then, didn't we? And the yeah. eye muscle and, and uh, the quality of meat then, which the top butchers wanted. Yes, and absolutely. We still got that, haven't we? Yes. 62, you know. I had first and second tonight. Did you? Uh, yeah. yeah. How yeah. many champions do you have then out of the field? Oh. Carcass, right? Carcass, three, yeah. two. You had so, two. So, so you had no three did. because I had the short wool. Dorset Horn Class Championship. Did you? Uh, short yeah. Wool Championship yes. with a pair of Dorset Horn Weatherlands. Yeah. Mm. That, that was live, though, was it, Michael? That was live. Yeah. yeah. And it's never. No, how many dead did you have then? How many dead champions? Well, the carcasses must have been three. Champion. Must have been three. Must have been three. Yeah, yeah. must have been at least three. But we topped the yeah. price at uh, 400 and. The carcass I made 480 quid, I think. Which is a lot more than some of the rounds will make today. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was thir yeah. £13.50 a pound. But we had, we had the shape today, and the quality. Today, yeah, we've had, had this round yeah. make 6,000. Yes. But in 1963, a half share in a round made 300. So he was worth yeah. 600. If you yeah. equate that up to today's price, yes. with the inflation, 6,000 is nothing. No. But we could go no. out. Mm. When we had good tight skinned sheep and beat anybody, yes. even the Suffolks, mm. all right, the Texels and that have come in since, and yes. that's a different thing altogether. Yes. And they've yeah. come in since, but, but uh, even so, we can still knock them if we win. Yeah. With the right so, David, you, you could sell based, based up in Wales. Now, how many, how many uh, animals are you, are you running at the moment? Uh, we cut down the number now. We had about 150, we don't, we had about 100 now. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, it's still a considerable mm -hmm. number. And Richard, mm -hmm. yourself? Uh, about 420 ewes. Yeah. But yeah. there's always at least 600 dorsets because of ewe lambs and rams sure. and whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. 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 Well, gentlemen, thanks very much indeed. I, I know you, you're keen to get back to the auction and see what's going on. Mm. And uh, I had to drag Michael away. Kicking his street, screaming, keeping an eye on the auctioneer up there. Well, we'll see you in ten years' time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Quite right, yeah. too. I shall hold to that, brother. Vintage. Thanks very much for spending time with us today. Thank and you. Uh, for those of you that read through the Royal Life on a regular basis, these guys really, did, uh, really are great ambassadors for the Pongal Society. And the horns. And, and the horns, as I quite rightly picked up there. But what we'll be interested in is for those of you that have your own society, now these gentlemen have set, set the benefit. Yeah, 160 years of combined service. How many other clubs can actually do that? And we'd love to hear from you. Thanks, gentlemen. Much appreciated. Yeah. Uh, thank you.